Hi, my name is Marcus Wong, and today's logical fallacy of the day is post hoc ergo propter hoc. Post hoc ergo propter hoc is Latin for after this, therefore because of this. Don't be intimidated by the name. It simply means that when A happens, then B happens, then A caused B. It is closely linked to the idea that correlation implies causation. Take this commercial for example. Mike, what's your deal, oh, man? Oh, come on, man. You've been riding me all day. Mike, you're playing like Betty White out there. Ask out what your girlfriend said. Oh. Baby. Oh, 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 Use Snickers. Better? Using the principles of post hoc ergo propter hoc, Snickers wants us to believe that once you find yourself becoming an old woman, all you need to do is eat a Snickers bar to regain your youth. This logical fallacy is most often used when considering Murphy's Law. A principle that states that anything that could go wrong, will go wrong. For example, take this student who is scrambling to do his podcast the day it's due at 4 o'clock in the morning. As he frantically works, however, Murphy's Law comes into effect, and this happens. His experiences may cause him to never procrastinate again as a result of post hoc ergo propter hoc. Since he procrastinated, then the computer exploded, the student assumes that procrastination causes terrible calamities to occur. The same goes for people who believe that cold weather causes the common cold. Their observations seem logical at first because a drop in temperature is indeed correlated to higher incidences of the common cold. However, the act of being cold does not cause sickness. Many other factors play a part. In the case of post hoc ergo propter hoc, Sometimes the simplest answer isn't always the best answer.